I am John Grogan. I'm a polygraph examiner. And you've got lies. The social media's most popular polygraph examiner. John. John. John Grogan. Over the past few years, John's become a social media sensation. Do you think it's possible to beat a lie detector test? I want to see if this lie detector really works. There's no way it's accurate. When he's reading the results in real time, he's doing it with superhuman speed. Dude, I knew that yeah. guy was such a scammer. Obviously. Nobody can beat my lie detector. You might recognize his face. This is John Grogan, aka the lie detector guy. I'm John the lie detector guy. He is the person you would want to contact if you were interested in taking a lie detector test. However, John Grogan wasn't always in such high demand and known as the go-to person for lie detecting tests on the internet. So, how did he start appearing in almost every video of famous YouTubers? How did he get featured on shows such as The Late Late Show with James Corden and Dr. Phil Show? What do we really know about him? Who is he? Let's unravel the mystery of the lie detector guy. Before the concept of lie detection gained widespread popularity in the world of YouTube, Mr. Grogan had already established himself as the go-to expert in Hollywood television. He has been featured in short segment of numerous episodes of Carpool Karaoke, a widely popular show hosted by James Corden, where he administrates lie detector tests on many celebrities. There he is. Hey, John. This is one of my closest friends, John. Hey, John. Johnny boy. What makes Mr. Grogan stand out from other polygraph examiners is his distinctive approach. He maintains an unflappable, stoic presence on screen, even in the face of the most entertaining and lively of surroundings. Oh, yes, sir, no. No. It's this grumpy energy that sets him apart and makes him such a captivating figure to watch. Through his unwavering commitment to his work, his unique brand of no-nonsense lie detection has captured the hearts and minds of audience around the world. So, if you ever find yourself in need of an expert in the art of truth-seeking and views-gaining, you know exactly who to call. Well, this is what many YouTubers did. If you watch YouTube, which I know you do, chances are you've come across Mr. Grogan in one of the many videos he has appeared in. His popularity soared after he gained exposure on the platform, and soon enough, various channels began featuring him in their videos one by one, which then quickly became a trend. As with any trend, many YouTubers jumped on the bandwagon, using his services to create video content and increase their views. Some of the biggest names on the platform, such as Logan Paul, Dixie D'Amelio, the Try Guys and so many others. Typically, these videos involve the YouTuber explaining how nervous they are to take the polygraph test. Bro, I am nervous. I'm very scared. But, uh, I'm a little nervous, kinda. Followed by their friend asking them silly questions, all while John maintains his usual stone-cold character. Has Lexi ever appeared in any of your dreams? Have you thought about eating ass today? Do you love Lana Rhodes? But, as every character of the story, John Grogan also had its twists and turns. As he gained more popularity, accusations on him of forged polygraph results also increased. There was a video clip from H3 Podcast where Trisha Paytas talked about working with John in the past. Can I just say one more thing about the lie detector guy? I've been hooked up to him, like, check out, like, me on his videos. Like, I've been hooked up to him, and he literally will say, like, oh, I can give you whatever answer you want. Are yes. You Dude, I knew that yeah. guy was such a scammer. Obviously, he's in like everyone's videos. But he straight videos. up just says you can say whatever you want? <laughs> yeah, no, he says, oh, tell me what you want me to say. What? Yeah, oh, That's for sure. That's so lame. Oh, when I got hooked up to it, he literally was like, oh, what do you, like, they're like, no, 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 say yes to that, say no to that. Like, I'm like, okay. He's not like real. <laughs> but her reputation for saying outrageous things made this an unreliable source to trust. However, another clip from James Corden's talk show featuring Chris and Kylie Jenner was released, where John was administrating a polygraph test to Chris. In that show, Chris was asked, Did you help Kim release her sex tape? No. No. True. Of course it's true! This caused people to believe John's polygraph was staged. Later, Ray J called out Chris for taking a false lie detector test and accused John of being a fake examiner. Kim Kardashian got her handwriting and her fingerprints all over my contract. When you look at the two, when you look at my signature and you look at her signature on my deliverables, that say sex tape number one, sex tape number two, and guess what? The third sex tape or the second they've been trying to play me on, it called Santa Barbara sex. Her mama made us go shoot it for safety. She watched the mother and said, hey, we're gonna go with the first one because the first one is better. It gives my daughter a better look than the second one that I made y'all go do. But you watched it and made a decision. And then you get on to whatever show you was on and take a lie detector test with a fraud. In the caption of the video, he said, 
John Grogan is a fake. He is not a polygraph examiner. This is the dude Chris Jenner had to rely detector test to make me look a liar. But you may question, why should we believe Ray J? Well, it turns out Ray J and John had previously worked together on the reality show for the love of Ray J back in 2000. Maybe. Where John was responsible for administrating a segment called Don't Lie to Ray J. So, it is known that Ray J might have some more insights than most of we do.